Annie again, and I have point number four on should we be expecting a housing crisis as we enter 2021. Now, I've already started talking about equity and what was cashed out, but how much equity do people really have in their homes and what does it make financial sense for them? Well, we have that data and statistics as well. So to give you an idea, you know, Americans in their mortgages and homes, at least 60% or more equity in their home. So they're saying they only have a mortgage of value of 40% of what their home is worth. We're talking about 58.7% of all Americans that have mortgages. So what this tells us is that more than half of everyone who has a mortgage has a considerable amount of equity sitting in their homes, which should give them a lot of peace of mind. Again, financial structures. We always talk about it from a real estate perspective, how buying a home is such a great financial investment. It's one of the largest assets you'll ever own. And seeing where we are right now, where we're in that place, we're almost at like you know over 50% of Americans have a substantial amount of equity should put your mind at ease in terms of we're not going to be seeing huge foreclosure spikes. So hope you found this useful. Um, do you have questions, by the way, as I'm going through this, or if you want more detailed information about you know your particular situation, by all means, you can reach out to us. I'd be more than happy to kind of go through this. I'm trying to keep this information for these videos short, sweet, but if you really wanted more detailed analytics and what the numbers really look like, um, I can by all means tell you, I'm, I'm literally staring at a computer screen that has all these facts and figures right in front of me. So you definitely have a more in-depth conversation if you want it, but for right now, that's it. And then uh, last video for this will be the fifth one, which I think you guys will like. So talk to you soon. Bye.